Did you know that one in 11 adults has diabetes worldwide and that almost 10% of the American population has a life-threatening illness? Here's the good news. Those who suffer from diabetes may no longer have to put up with painful insulin injections because an Israeli company has just developed an insulin pill that can be taken orally. The Israeli drug maker or Med Pharmaceuticals Inc. says its experimental oral insulin has been proven a success because it safely reduced nighttime blood glucose levels in patients with type 2 diabetes. We've done a lot of checks and tests in order to show that it's safe. We just now completed the last trial and able to show that the oral insulin is safe. So the safety is not the issue here. Uh, the question was always whether it's effective. Can we actually do it? And the answer is yes, we can do it. Skeptics are likely to be surprised by the new capsule because many have doubted that insulin could be delivered orally since it would have to survive an onslaught of digestive juices to have its intended effect. So how has Ormed avoided this problem? The Israeli company says they use a protective coating on the pill and a high enough dose of insulin so that the stomach can properly process it. We have a capsule that it's enterocoated which it means that it's uh, stay in the stomach which is acidic pH and it's disintegrate only in the intestine. This is not unique to us. This is something that it's in the pharmaceutical field. And what we have in the, our formulation is that we have an enhancer and mainly the essence of our formulation is what protein as inhibitors. While many look at the insulin pill as a much less painful alternative to daily insulin injections, the special capsule has an even better benefit. Taking insulin orally comes a lot closer to the path of natural insulin, which is produced in the pancreas and then enters the bloodstream to go to the liver. When you give it as an injection, it goes straight into the bloodstream. But when we give it orally, it goes first pass to the liver, the portal the liver, and the, por and the liver is the organ that regulates the secretion of the insulin into the bloodstream. So that's why it's the healthier, more physiological way to treat diabetes through the oral insulin. Wondering if the insulin capsule is too good to be true? It looks like you shouldn't be worried because a 28-day study involving 180 type 2 diabetes patients went very well. There were no reported serious adverse side effects and no issues with dangerously low blood sugar. Those who received the oral insulin had an average nighttime glucose reduction of almost 6.5% compared to the patients who took a placebo. So we now have finished successfully our phase 2B trial and we're moving into a phase 3. We'll have to have a meeting with the FDA to understand what is going to be the size of the phase 3 trial and based on that we'll know the exact timeline. But we're now closer than ever before in the history of insulin of almost uh, 90 years. If the oral insulin capsule is approved by the Federal Drug Administration, it's expected to become a multi-billion dollar product. When you talk about diabetes, it's unfortunately, it's, it's a huge market. You know, today we look at almost 400 million people will have diabetes worldwide. And when you look at the future forecast, the numbers are just growing and growing and growing. So there's no doubt that there's a huge need for this thing and there's a lot of people out there who are waiting for the oral insulin to make it into the market.